let's make some printable envelopes in this video i'm going to show you how to customize this template in canva and how to fix it in your computer so that you can print them out on these envelopes these are number 10 envelopes and um, when you watch my video you will be able to make them let's go here i am in canva um this is my uh editable canva templates and the size is in the exact size as the as the envelope um, the envelopes are 9.5 by 4.126 something like that okay and here you can come and change like edit these designs to your liking um to be able to use the images that belong to the canva pro you should have a canva pro account subscription if you don't have canva pro you can still use these designs some of them are my own like this one here is my own and this one here is my own uh, uh, image that i created if there's a Canva Pro design here that you want to use, but you don't have Canva Pro, you can just delete it and add something else, another element, another image, you know. Go in here and look for kids designs, kids, um, kids cartoon. You can find, you can find kids if it's kids you want to put in, if you want, uh, um, like, uh, cars. You can find cars, whatever you want. You can find it here. You can find the the free uh, images and then change it. For instance, if you want to change this bus, like ungroup this, this the design. Let's say you want to change it. You want to put um, another cute car. Like another cute car. Let's see where I put this. You can still put it here. Okay. And this is so cute. You can change the colors up here. If you want to make the, the car blue, like your son love blue, you can change it to blue. It's up to you. Okay. It's up to you. Okay. And here the text, you can change the text too. You can move them around. And you can also change the font. You can click on a font. And you, you can find your font that you love here. Let's say you want this one, you can change them. But um, it's good to change them one by one. If you change them like at all at once, it might be jumbled up, but you have to go back in there and fix them, like arrange them, align them, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you how to print it through uh, Silhouette Studio and um, through... Um, with the Epson, with the ET2720. Everything I do to print them out really well. Okay, uh, let's say I'm going to print this one out. Okay, you can, oh, I have to say that you can change the names too. You can come in here and put your child's name, put your child's name and all that. You can add more elements and all that. I'm going to download this one going to download it i'm going to download it with a transparent background okay i go to page download i want it with a transparent background in a png format and i want page four you see page four here and then i download it download. okay if you're coming to your computer i'll go to so here we are in Silhouette Studio. I'm going to create like the envelope size, um, the 9.5 by 4.126, something like that. But it, it, it's in here. We are not going to create it from scratch. It's right in here. We need go, we need to go find it. Okay. Um, when I go here to the media size, media is this here. We have to have the size of the envelope. Uh, it's not here. It's not here. Okay, but don't worry. We will find it. Go to file And go to print page setup. Okay, and we here in size go in size 
And then when you look closely, you see here, envelope number 10, 4.125 by 9.5 inch. This is what we are looking for. So you select it, okay? Select it. We want it in landscape this time. We want it in landscape. You can also put it in portrait. Let's keep it in... Let's keep it in landscape. We will see. And then you click OK. And you see the size of the envelope will come. You see here 10. That means it's 9 point... Sorry, here is 9.5. And over here is um, 4.125 inch. You see it came here. Okay, the other thing we need is our print border. Click on show print border. And you see how the print border is? I don't like it. I do not like it. This doesn't work for me. It does not work for me. We want to print on the whole envelope, okay? Like kind of, bold, not borderless, but closer. Make the, the print border wider. Okay? I have the print border selected. I have the media. So now we'll go to our computer. Let's bring the image in. Let's bring the image in really quick. File. I'm going to merge it in. Our image is right here. Okay. Okay. Right here. And now we're going to align it. Like, and I'm going to stretch it a little bit to be on the envelope. Like so. Not too close to the border. Not too close to the border. Let's find out. Keep it like so. Okay, and then when we go to print, like print, you see it's cut. We don't want that. It's cut. Okay, let's go to print right in here. Don't worry about this. And we're going to preferences, preferences. And when we come in here, we see we see here it's, it's the document size is envelope, like envelope right here. And we will click on minimize margins. And it will say all these things here. This setting allows you to extend the printable area. But print quality in the top of the bottom areas may decline or the area may be smeared depending on the media. See the help. Okay. It will minimize the margins. It will make the margins smaller. Here they are big. It will make it small as here on this side. And then you click OK. It needs to change the margin for us. Let's go to more options. More options. It says the document is the envelope. If you don't have it, choose it. Don't have anything on here. Don't click anything on here. Okay. Mm, let me see. Yeah, it has. It's a landscape. Yeah. Plain white paper. You can change the quality. Let's say high quality. Okay. All of that. And we click OK. And then you, you need to apply it so that it will work. Apply. OK. We don't see it yet. Mm -hmm. I apply it. But I, let me see if I can cancel this. Cancel this here. And you see it applied it. You see you can cancel it and come back. You see it applied the tiny margin. OK. You see all our image in, is inside. Our image is is, is very, very um, safe in the print area. Okay. And now we can go back and print. I'll show you how to put your um, envelope so that it can print right for you. Let's go there. This right here is the size of envelope I'm using. 4.13 by 9.5. I will link it below for you guys to see. And I'm going to show you how to place your envelope into your printer. You see this side has the, the flap. I call it flap. It should be on your left side, on your left hand. Okay? It should be on your left hand. And when you print it like that, it will come out really well. Okay, open the flap. Let me go and show you. And then put, uh, insert your envelope and then move the blue or purple thing to hold it, to keep the size. Okay, now we're going to print it. 
I'm just going to select print and then print it okay you see it came out really well the print border is perfect everything is perfect so it came out really well so this is how you print these look how beautiful it is don't forget to get the templates i will leave the link below also you see it came out really well the 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 cover the flap should be on the left side this is so cute i love it 